and gentlemen, anything can happen here in the WWF. Here's a first. Some pre-recorded editorial comments from Vince McMahon. This is Vince McMahon, the World Wrestling Federation. I've always made it a point to refrain from personal commentary during WWF programming, but please permit me this one exception. As many of you know, several years ago, the World Wrestling Federation and I came under a vicious attack by the tabloid media led by one Phil Mushnick of the New York Post. It's been the equivalent, in my view, of journalistic stalking. As we found out, these stalkers apparently are not interested in the truth, as they have been heard to say in the tabloid newsroom, don't let the truth get in the way of a good story. Mr. Mushnick attempted to give credibility to this type of tabloid investigation by telling his readers the feds don't waste money on witch hunts. Now, most people, myself included, naively believe that government prosecutors and their investigators are the good guys. Unfortunately, I found this to not always hold true. I was constantly amazed at the utter lack of ethics some of the good guys involved in my case, all of whom had demonstrable ties to Mr. Phil Mushnick. I watched the good guys lie to the media, lie to the judge, lie to the jury. I watched the good guys get caught because they tried to pressure my alleged co-conspirator into changing his prior sworn testimony. I watched as the good guys were forced to admit that they had destroyed evidence. And I saw the ultimate impact of the truth when the jury acquitted me and the World Wrestling Federation without us even having to put on a defense or call even one witness. Although I had a great deal to say about this unique life experience at the time after the trial, I did not. However, Recent events compel me now to speak. The day before Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Eve, Mr. Mushnick in the New York Post wrote two new articles. One article was entitled, Tampering Cloud Over Rustling Biggs Trial. It cites unnamed federal sources as suggesting that Marty Bergman, the husband of one of my attorneys, Laura Bavetti, tampered with witnesses, obstructed justice, and caused a baseless complaint to be filed against the good guys who were Phil Mushnick's cronies with the Justice Department. The article says that the good guys were exonerated, however, by the Justice Department, even though it's a known fact that one of the case agents is leaving the government, and the prosecutor, Sean O'Shea, is also rumored to be leaving public service. Now, the WWF and I were exonerated by a jury of my peers, None of these good guys have ever been, nor in my view, ever would be exonerated in any fair public hearing as the WWF and I were. The second article actually goes to the absurd depth of quoting the ever-present unnamed sources as questioning the marriage of Laura Bravetti and Marty Bergman. Now, on a personal level, I wish to state that my heart goes out to my attorney, Laura Bravetti, and her husband, Marty Bergman. Laura was an integral part of our defense team, and she defends people with a passion and a vigor that is ennobling to see and experience. I also deeply resent any innuendo or accusation that my acquittal on the charges brought against me by the federal government was in any way tainted by any illegality by me or by my legal representation. These same keystone cops who wasted taxpayer dollars these same yellow journalists who had to eat crow for telling lies are once again incestuously joining forces, trying to drum up support for their own personal agenda, trying to manufacture some reason to save face, attempting to perpetuate some theory of witness tampering. Gentlemen, is that the best you can do? That postulation of witness tampering is about as far-fetched as the charges originally brought against me in the first place. The jury did not believe you then. Why should the public believe you now? Or should yellow journalists conspiring with vengeful federal officials 
be above reproach or even above the law? I don't think so. We're back at Bob Backlund up campaigning, trying to drum up support for Bosnia, perhaps. Who knows why he's there? Next on Superstar.